cool element, element added to this version of the, this is the newest version of iMovie for OS X Mavericks, is the addition of maps to the uh, backgrounds area. Now you have maps and backgrounds down here in your content library. This sits aside transitions, titles, iTunes, sound effects, and GarageBand. These three sound uh, based dealies are set up uh, separate now so you can get a file straight from GarageBand. You can get sound effects based on uh, these things are all in, incorporated in, in iMovie, so you can get things like, uh, oops, let's just play that one time. Let's go to a new one here. So these are all set up by Apple and included with the app itself, whereas uh, stuff from iTunes is obviously comes from your iTunes app separate, and then, uh, you know, your garage band is stuff that you make. Uh, with uh, maps and backgrounds, that's what we're going to look at right now, you can select from these, well you can select from a bunch of different backgrounds here. A lot of these were incorporated with the earlier versions of iTunes, like if you go to Curtain, for example, I'll drag a curtain down here. This is just the waving curtain, you can use that for titles and that sort of thing. Uh, this newest thing here is maps. Now if I go to Old World Globe, these are all really similar, we're just going to use this one. Uh, I just toss it down here, I can then make it as long as I need it to be. And then right out of the box, it just says San Francisco. If I want to edit this, all I need to do is go over to, not into enhance, but to adjust. Now, if I go to adjust, this little additional thing pops up. Root, if I want my root to be uh, different, this, I mean, this sort of thing only exists inside this mapping sort of deal. So it's starting in San Francisco. You can change it to whatever you want, any different city that's included in their list. We'll go ahead and make it Tunisia, and we'll say we want to map all the way to St. Louis, and at that point it will give you that sort of map. Now this is the sort of thing you've probably seen in uh, Indiana Jones before. It pops back and forth like that. Really simple. That's all it does. You can also go back here and choose different sorts of maps after the fact. If you, if you chose one from over here uh, and you just want to switch it, change it to blue marble map. Very easy to switch in like that. And you can choose to not have that as well. You can just have it move uh, from one place to the other as you add your own titles. Very simple, very cool.